Ahoy there, Captains, and welcome back to Trans Ocean 2 Rivals. Well, we're going to get right into Chapter 2 here. So let's get started. Your new shipping line has taken its first steps, and the business is flourishing. Now you have to raise the insanely high bail for Hiram T. Witherspoon so he can escape the revenge of Lydia Blythe Smith. It sounds so simple. So we need to start venturing into new territory, boss. Your performance up to now has earned you a license to accept and carry out contracts in South America. That ought to help us raise the bail for Hiram even faster. More contracts means more money, doesn't it? Now there's someone I also need to have a little word with. Lydia Black Smith? What are you doing here? Stopping you from ruining all my plans. Last year, you ruthlessly tricked and missled me, and you and this Witherspoon character are going to have to pay the price. And now you want to simply worm yourself out of it and buy his way out of jail? Not on my watch. I've known what you're capable of for quite some time, and now I also have my own shipping company, Blythe Smith Monopoly, and I'm going to make life hell for your little shipping line. You can count on that. You'll never succeed like when I was on your side. Whoa! That's quite a competitor you've got yourself there. Seems like revenge is a pretty big deal for her. If I could just give you a tip, you shouldn't keep limiting yourself to container ships, but also add some bulk carriers and tankers into your fleet that will let you cover the contract situation better. Hmm, Mr. Masterson just might be right. We ought to consider some new types of ships. Should I explain to you how the whole thing works? Nope, nope, we're good guys, right? We're ready to get right into this. There's only a few new things, and I'll explain uh, the new things that we learned in Chapter 2 here. So we don't have to go through the tutorial, because the tutorial is really kind of boring for this chapter. The most important thing, though, is that you now yes. get the bail together. And if you can also show Lydia who has the more powerful fleet in the process, then even better. Best of luck. Well, thank you, Heather. So, the big thing here, since the uh, game's paused, is in Chapter 2, it uh, goes over the uh, purchasing of ships and repair ports. Uh, now, you can't just pull into a port and, uh, or, or purchase a ship in any port. Actually, you can. It's kind of, it's actually better than, I think, Transocean. Because remember, in Transocean, uh, the shipping company you had to own a subsidiary in that port to be able to access that port's uh, wharf. Um, now, it's just any port that has a uh, little ship here. Uh, the only difference is, is later on, is you might not own these uh, ports, and so part of what your ship cost is goes to someone else. So I'll explain that later in another chapter. Uh, but the other big thing is repair ports uh, in Transocean Shipping Company again. You were able to repair in any port you wanted, and it's no longer the case. You can only repair in what they call repair ports. And so as you can see, pretty much every region has a repair port. Actually, uh, North America West does not. But for the most part, every region has a repair port here. And there's the one with a little wrench on them, so you can see where all these uh, ports are at. So there's not a ton of them, so it's something to keep an eye on while we're going. As you can see, we already started out with one ship, the Augustus is at 80 percent so the goal for chapter two guys is uh well there's three of them we have to get 25 million in our bank account obviously and then we need to lead in all three of these care categories for ships to either get the gold or two to get silver and one for uh for, for bronze but at the same time we always need that 25 million so the best thing, guys, here's, here's what I'm going to tell you, because the campaign really kind of screws you, especially if you go through the tutorial. If you go through the tutorial, it kind of forces you to purchase a ship, and then it goes through the repair process. Literally, if you guys cannot, if you skip the tutorial on this mission, or on this chapter, and what you do then is just go to the wharf, check out the ship prices on the tankers. Tankers bring in the most money, and you want them in this chapter. Without those tankers in this chapter, it's really hard to beat. So, let's go right to the tankers with your 20 mil. See what you can find, as we've got right here. Boom. 
Yes, it's at 55%, but that's all right because we need the tanker. So we'll see 19.6. We'll go to the other wharf. We, like I said, it doesn't matter what wharf you go to. Um, there's none here in South America. Well, let's go up here to the Georgia ports. Let's see what they have. The prices are different, guys. So definitely check them out. They're not much different, but there are differences in prices. As you can see, the Georgia ports port does not have any ships, any tankers for us that we can afford. So let's go back to Metro Vancouver here. We'll click on the wharf and we'll purchase this guy here at the 55%. We'll then bring him once he gets down to the port we need. We'll repair him up a little bit and it'll go from there. In, in, in Transocean 2 Rivals, guys, repairing your ship is not... It doesn't, it doesn't have an effect, right? So unless you're down to 20%, your ship can sink. But anything above 20%, you're fine. It doesn't matter, like, if your ship's sitting at 60%, 70%, 80%, it has no other effect. In Transocean, it had the effect on your reputation. In this game, it doesn't. So definitely in this uh, chapter, try not to repair your ship so much. We're in the bread. That's not good. We've got 15 days to get out of it, but we'll be fine once we uh, get out of here. Let's, what, what are we going to name our ships here? Um, we're going we're gonna to do all MSs, right? No, we don't want any MSs. Uh, let's do... The let's do the Exxon Valdez. Let's do that. Let's do the Exxon Valdez. We'll go with that, and we'll price in our ship. Ooh, little party balloons. I love it. Love it. Nice little clap there. And let's go back to the port. As you can see, there is our good old ship, the Exxon Valdez. If you go into the port here, you can't click on the uh, repair symbol here because it's not a repair port. We can rename it later. So if you guys don't like the name, let me know in the comments. We'll change the name. You can also sell your ship um, in each port as well. It doesn't matter what port. You can sell it here. Why it thinks that it's loaded or whatever, I do not know. But let's get some contracts going. But look at, look at these. Um, let's see. We could head Man Manzanillo as a repair port. So we, we definitely are going to be heading that way. Uh, it's going to take six days though. We'll head down to Los Angeles grab that and then we'll grab uh grab that one for man and zanillo look at that four million you'll see right away here um the difference too we'll, yeah we'll, we'll slow down the slow down the tanker a little bit but you can see the differences in prices here right away um we're, we're in metro vancouver or we're in anchorage here going to metro vancouver is only going to bring us you know so much so but we'll take all that stuff there um, boom 2.2 .2 million versus the 4 million so it makes a huge difference guys but we'll keep that one at full and let's get going so now we have a ship in one and two uh, we'll just have to see what the other guys go go with it sucks unless Lydia gets uh, gets a head start on that but whatever we'll deal with it let's get the game increased for speed Oh, look at that fleet. Look at her fleet over here moving around. Um, for this one, it's not as important to get this little one-day stuff. Uh, if you want to, you can. Like I said, it's not that important. The big big thing here is the tankers. So, already brought in 2 million, which is nice. And we're headed down to Manzanillo. Oh, yeah. I'll take that big million there. Take that one there. That one. That one. Actually, let's... Oh, yeah, let's just take that one then. No, that's the Metro. We can't take that. Can't take that. We'll take that one to Manzanilla then. 572. Let's see if we can grab that. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can grab that one too. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Look at that. Another 3 million on this load here. Mr. Exxon Valdez doing its job. Very nice. So that's basically the only tutorial uh, I talk about in this, in this chapter. There's nothing else new. I can remember that pops up. It's just about the repairs. So just kind of keep your eye on the fleet. Ooh, three days to get here. I uh, will grab that to Los Angeles. But yeah, see, you can just tell it just doesn't bring in the same amount of money. Which is a shame. We should have fueled up there too. Manzanillo is a kind of expensive fuel port. 3.9 million, yeah. Alright, we're just going to repair it for a few days. Uh, we don't have much money to begin with. So you basically click on the ship. Hit repair, 
and then do your repair thing. The other thing you could do, you could do it in the contracts list too, uh, right there. Click on it, same thing. Then you can just spread it around what you want, and you could tell it it changes now. It's no longer three days, four days, you know, six days. It's it's based on however you want it to be. So it goes day by day by day, which is actually really kind of nice. So we're gonna spend three days, and it'll get us up to sixty. 69% at 1.5 million, which will be good. That'll be good for me. I'm happy with that. And we'll keep the chat open during this during this campaign here, this chapter, just so we can keep an eye on who's buying ships. And we obviously don't need that open. I don't know why they have... I mean, it's nice if you're in the multiplayer, you can see everything, but... Penalty fees, 76... What? Jesus. Alright, let's see what we got here. Work. Oh, bonus. Nice. We'll take that one. We'll take that one. That one. Actually, if we go there, there, and there. I think that's worth more than that. Wouldn't you say? It's got to be pretty close. That's worth more, I think. So we'll take all of those. 1.5 million here. So yeah, definitely can tell. Oh, we're in Los Angeles. That's good. So we'll fully fuel up then. I don't know. Manzanillo. One of your ships is repaired and ready to go. Ah, oh, beautiful. So here's the really fun thing. I'll show you. It's kind of funny. Why it does it like that, I'm not really sure. Let's head to... Oh, look at this. We can head to Metro. New Orleans has a ton. Metro's seven days away, though. So I can take all of that to Metro. And I can still take stuff to Los Angeles? What? Look at that. Seven million. Seven million. Unreal. Actually, it's not. Yeah, see. Holy fuel here would be 122 for minimum. We're paying 215 here. So we just kind of want a little bit. Just enough to get to Los Angeles. But it keeps the repair thing up. And I'm not really sure why. So you always got to exit that one out. It's a funny, funny little doohickey there. On why it's like that. Maybe it'll be fixed in a, in a later patch as well. It's hard to say. But we're up to six million. We're gonna get another ship at some point here. We'll increase the speed some more. Oh, there we go. 1.5 million. Uh, you still get the tugboat strikes. We haven't been to actually really many ports. I don't, we maybe went into one last episode, or last uh, chapter. So that was kind of crazy. Uh, let's see where we're gonna head to. We head down to Balboa. It's a decent run there to Balboa. So let's grab that for 2.2 million. And oh yeah, we can cast right off. Beautiful. A boat is kind of a drive. I should say a drive, kind of a sail. But what we got? 1.3 million. What? Wear and tear here. Penalty fees. 26,000. I don't know what that was for. Oh, we were behind on that one to begin with. Interesting. Oh, I didn't notice that when I grabbed them. Oh, well, that's all right. Metro. Look at this. Uh, for that two million, you take that. It doesn't matter about what you're gonna lose there. You're gonna bring in so much money anyhow, because of the rest of this load, like this ship's coming in worth a lot of money. So sometimes you gotta just take that, uh, take that little bit of a loss there. We can actually increase the uh, speed of that ship as well to try and uh, limit some of that. I don't know if it'll make much of a difference. You're so close. Oh, look at that. Eight million still. Eight million. That's why we. That's why you keep it at what it is. Um, we're about to get another ship, though, I think. Ooh, let's head back down to Manzanillo. Uh, six days, six days, six days. The only thing I guess we could do here maybe is try and get two of these, but we can't. Yeah, I mean, what you're going to lose here makes up for what you would gain here. So we'll just grab those. 7 million for that load. Um, let's get... Ooh, feels kind of expensive. Let's go 356. That'll give us... Just enough. So that's good. Another 2 million in the bank. So, beautiful, beautiful. See, the, the game goes kind of very fast-paced. Now that the pause button's in, we can actually kind of take our time. But before, when there was no pause, like, you're just thinking about it. Like, I'd have to click, 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 boom, 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 and be done. No explaining things, kind of no taking my time, no looking at things as much. But we're sitting in the Balboa here. The Georgia ports would be kind of a, a journey. Looks like we'd make more going to New Orleans. 
in Houston, maybe. Uh, Manzanillo could make something, too. Said to New Orleans. We'll grab this here to Houston as well. It'll be worth it. Remember to try and at least get 200000 Um, That'll cover your, your tugboat fees if you don't get a uh, worker strike. Or if you don't like paying all those fees, remember you guys can go to the menu here, options, and go to game and uh, the tugboat strike frequency and you can change that um, off of the game standard which is rarely so that's that we'll, okay we'll go back let's, uh, let's cast our ship off though do we get it some fuel and fuel is not cheap here either oh let's get that should be enough good oh did you not uh, you gotta go to the New Orleans there there we go was that the Augustus I sent? Oh, did I send the wrong ship? I s oh, wait. No, we're good. We're good. Hey, yeah, yeah, I thought I sent the wrong ship to the wrong port. That would have been bad. But you can see our fleet's moving. There's one of our rare ships. There's our other one. You can tell who the ships are owned by, which is really nice, too. Actually, why ours aren't, uh... I wonder why Miss Lydia's aren't showing up. That's weird. There we are. There we are. We just got a quick on it the right way. The Horizon. Look at that. She's in South America doing some stuff. What are you doing in South America, Miss Lydia? So that's beautiful. What do we got here for time? 129 days left. Lots of time. Lots and lots of time. We're at 18 million. We could buy another ship. We could buy like a bulk. Um, container ships are really hard to purchase. They're, they're expensive. They're like tankers. Very expensive. Um, and, and, they just, and they still don't bring as much money as a tanker does. All right, let's go to Houston here. We'll grab that contract. Add to that. Fuel. Eh, man, it's not as... We'll just get 100 tons here. Hopefully Houston will be a little bit better. I wish they'd give a global fuel price list somewhere on this on this map. You know, when you're in this op open map, but they don't. But 7 million for that. That's nice. Let's try and get like one more big load from, from the Exxon here. Um, Los Angeles will be good. Actually, Balboa here will be awesome. And then we can grab here to, to Havana, maybe? Nope. Mm, we could take the 2.7 mil one. Hmm. Hmm. We're going to be like a day late, I feel like, at least. Minimum. Because we're kind of going in the same direction, but not. We'll grab it. We'll, we'll take it. It'll be worth it. And they'll, and some, at some point around the line, it'll be worth it. Oh get some fuel here there we go super expensive there well you can see our ship fleet's at 60 and 67 so we're gonna have to purchase another ship here eventually so that way we can send one of these to get repaired to the port what do we got we got some weird stuff going on here did i grab uh, the wrong contract no we're good all right mm, we could go to the georgia ports here that'll be good and then maybe swing up to New York, New York. Hmm, we'll grab that one. For New York. That'll be kind of worth it. We'll head that way. Uh, we can get up to Quebec. And that's another repair port too. So that'll actually kind of work out. We'll get some fuel. Again. So there we go. We're just watching our fleet move. We pretty much gave up the whole west coast now. As we moved our fleet to the uh, the south. There we go, 4 million. We can purchase another ship, so I want to try and get another tanker here. Try and get another tanker, and let's see... Havana. That's right, the Exxon is going to Havana. Or we can go back up to Manzanoa. We actually should grab those to Manzanoa. But we'll grab this, that for now, and see. Well, let's grab that one for Houston. That one's a short little hop to Houston, so that'll be worth it for sure. Well, it gets going now let's check out our tanker prices again here because miss lydia has not purchased a new ship yet or masterson either um it, they vary on when they purchase ships guys i'm telling you it's crazy you don't know when it's coming you think you might have the upper hand and then you don't 28 mil oh that sucked all right so no new ships for the moment actually we could look into a bulk ship here another bulk wouldn't be the worst at 14 million. It'll give us some more. At least another ship to get money. 
you know, 14 million, you know, that gives us some money to keep, to play around with, 90%, that is nice, this one will be the, uh, what do we call this one, hmm, not really sure about, like, all the different names, I will go back and rename these, I'd like to try and keep them named to, to actual ships in the world, um, so let's, Let's name this one the Mersk, Alabama. We had one in the uh, Trans Ocean, but we'll name this one as well. So that'll be good. Uh, then our next ship will be a tanker. So we'll have to get a tanker. It'll probably most likely be a tanker. So we'll have to get a uh, a tanker name as well. So let's get contracts though. Uh, yeah, those are so far. We're definitely not taking those. We could go to Havana here. Not a ton of money. Well, that's not good to start out with. Can this one not accept as much? 2200 I want to see what the uh, the Augustus is hauling around. And see if maybe we were... Uh... Well, that's fuel. Hang on. Payload here. We're, we're so far from the payload. Yeah, look at that. We can take a lot more on this payload. Um... Could we go up to Quebec? Will be the question, and then down to. Yeah, I don't think we can go up to Quebec and then down. That was my mistake. I shouldn't have done that that way. That was bad. So we'll let the time go through here. Nice, nice. Ah, uh, do, 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 do. Two million. All right, we're going to Havana. So we, we could head up to Quebec after on this one. So we'll take that to Havana. You can hear that police. Man, that is annoying. I did not notice that in the other in the ports before. Let's close this. Jesus. Where's that thing at? He's gotta be around here. Oh there he is. We can't zoom in either. It's not even like what is it? It's like a Man, that is so annoying. I didn't notice it in chapter one. All right, let's go to Havana. So that'll be good. Uh, we're just waiting for our waiting for for something to arrive. Actually, we're actually gonna get the uh, Exxon Valdez into the hmm to repair port here. I would like to get another. Uh, tanker ship before I send her in, but we can only do so much though. Only do so much. Let's uh, increase the time just a little bit more here. Do I have a ship sitting? I all my ships are sitting around, huh? What are they doing? They're not even moving. Did I not tell them to cast off? Havana, cast off. You're in Houston. You're going to Houston. Oh. You need fuel, I see. You're in the Georgias. You in the Georgias? You're going to New York. The Augustus is going to New York. That was like, what was I doing here, guys? I don't even know what I was doing. They need fuel, that's why. Can't cast off without some fuel. We can fully fuel up, that's cool. You're going to Houston, let's grab that contract. We'll hold that on. Hey, hey, hey. Like I had a total brain fart on on things here, so we'll just just gonna wait it out. Ah, oh, Jesus, that's crazy, 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 crazy. I don't know, don't know what else we can do right now. We're just kind of waiting on that money. I'm su really surprised though. We're winning. Actually, we're not winning everything. Uh, we need to see we have one of everything now which is kind of nice fine so we'll just kind of wait it out wait it in out here mm, so that'll be good we're just what are we gonna do now what what ship just came in here I wasn't even paying attention I wasn't even paying attention the burst Alabama 
So let's go to the port here. Check her out. She's at 89%, so that's good. Where is she? She's in Havana. In Havana. We're going to go to... Just go up to the Georges. Let's go to the Georges here. Not a lot of money. It's, it's just not bringing us in a ton. There's not a problem. Is there's just not enough contracts to, uh, to do anything. Hmm. So I just don't know. There are 422. That's for the Augustus, who actually does need to be repaired. Um. So we're actually going to repair her a bit. Where are you at there, Mr. Augustus? Oh, we can't. We're in New York. Never mind. We have to go to Quebec. Um, which is a little bit farther than Halifax. We'll go up to Halifax. Look at all this stuff to New Orleans, though. Oh, we gotta take that. I can't pass up that. But we'll grab this contract here to Quebec, then, as well. Um, just because it does have 13, 31 days to get there. So, I'll know what to do, then. Uh, let's go down then to New Orleans first, guys. New Orleans. We'll head there. Look at that. The Exxon Valdez strikes again. Up to 22 million this time, so that's good. Uh, we'll take a look. Where are we at here? Houston. Uh, we'll take a look soon to figure out if we can go. Grab that. Oh, I can only grab one, huh? Oh, there we go. Let's do it that way. I like that better than that. So we'll go to the Georges, then we'll go up to New York, and then we'll stop and, uh... Boy, yeah, we're gonna just fuel up there. Just, to uh, just have that fuel. Let's just see what we got here. 117 days of lift, so that's good. 347,000, nice. So let's go to the port, check things out. Once again, I'm really surprised none of the other uh, AI have purchased a ship yet. It's definitely helping us out here. Holy cow. It's giving us an upper hand. We're in. It's the Merc scale of ammo. Look at this. All of this to back is actually... Nice. Let's grab all of that. We can stop in Halifax as well. Um, that'll be... Might as well just stop in Halifax. I wish I could get that big one though. We'll make a stop in Halifax on the way. Why not? We cover our costs, so it's all right. You know, we at least cover the them tugboat fees. So that'll be good. Give me some big money makers. The Exxon Valdez and the Georges. And uh, what do you got here for contract? New York. That's about boa. Um, we do need to go to Quebec, right? So we'll grab that. It's not as much money. We can hopefully we'll find something in New York. Um, that'll be good. Let's fuel up. Definitely could could use something in New York. Three hundred thousand there for the Alabama. Oh, what are you gonna do here? Where were we headed? We were going up to Quebec here. So we'll grab that last portion. Very nice. We'll cast off. On we go again. 2.3 million, nice. That's for the uh, Augustus. Alright, we're going to Quebec here as well. But nothing here. Let's, uh, we're in New Orleans, huh? We're in New Orleans. Let's stop in the, in the Georgias. And then we'll make a, and then we'll head to, uh, love to grab that. But we're already making a stop in Georgias. Stop there in Halifax. Hopefully we'll find something. So Georgia ports, then Halifax. That's how it goes. Hopefully there's enough. Oh, there's enough fuel for the Georgias. And we'll get fuel in the Georgias. Oh, the Exxon Valdez strikes again. Where are we? We're in New York. To Quebec, beautiful. That's what I needed right there. A nice big payday for it to come into port before she gets repaired some more. The, uh, the Augustus needs to get repaired as well, so. So down here is kind of a nice way to tell, too, if your ships are moving or if they if you forget about them. You know, so that's kind of nice. The Merc Alabama. 
That's a lot of contracts. Let's see what she's got here. She's in Quebec. She does not need to be repaired. The Augustus needs to be repaired. Um, let's head down to Halifax. Might as well, right? We'll go back. It take two days to get there. Let's uh, let's see what fuel is here. Oh, no, no, no fuel. Thank you. No fuel. So expensive. But that's where we're going to end it here, guys. Uh, that's the first part here of Chapter 2. As you can tell, no one's bought anything besides us. So we own a ship in every category, which gives us the advantage um, right off the bat here. Uh, we're going to purchase a new tanker ship when we come back. For sure, that'll be like the start of what we're going to do. Look for is a new tanker ship. Uh, hopefully we could do that before we we're gonna hopefully purchase that before we repair the Exxon Valdez just in case a uh, tanker ship costs us like 28 29 million we can still then repair the uh, Valdez because we can go into a negative balance the game gives us 15 days to get out of a negative balance so we definitely have time but we definitely need another tanker ship so we can continue to have a dominating performance on our other rivals so Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Good luck sailing.